This view is all about Manchester's lost medieval history. We are looking upstream of the River Irwell into the city from Liverpool Road. You will see that mostly it's modern but in medieval times this was a port and you can see on the right what is now the Victoria and Albert Hotel has something of the warehouse about it and if you turn now to the north I'll show you the connection of the river to what would have been the ship canal We'll now proceed upstream to the cathedral where there's something of it left. What we have now is a view further upstream from where we just were. I will pan round and you'll see all that is left of the medieval infrastructure are some bits of stone walling which in fact themselves have been repaired but we pan round and this is a famous view it's been captured by many artists over the years and it is of the cathedral believe it or not which is behind the buildings that block the view upstream so much of it has been lost but it's very relevant to today because the idea is to navigate this river back to the seaside again. We have to wait to this point to reveal the cathedral and there you can just see it in the background. Again the river was navigable all the way up to the cathedral which is why the medieval centre was there because shipping came up this far but there's not much left really uh, there's some forlorn attempts at uh, providing interesting diversions like a, a verdigris statue there of one of the city's famous fathers but, and the main contribution comes from the modern architecture but the bits of older stuff are mainly Georgian which would have supplanted the medieval uh, wharves and boat tie-ups but there we are it's a start this is the cathedral and we're now looking up under it to the River Irwell which used to be where all the main transportation for the city during medieval times came to a halt. Behind these bricked up openings there is some treasure. Uh, so there is much to be revealed about the medieval town. At the side of the cathedral you will see that there is some stone arches definitely medieval but uh, heavily overrun by Victorian and Georgian rebuilding and the modern intervention which has helped with the presentation of the city by, by the guides who operate extensively in this area. The cathedral of course uh, used to be the parish church and is of course of ancient origin during early medieval times and there is more information about it after the visitor. We get a flavour of the medieval street pattern here. Narrow access, alleyways, and uh, some careful interpretation but uh, the timber frame building we see in the background which is the back of Sinclair's Oyster Bar 
is what has happened to one of the two known medieval buildings left uh, which have been moved twice uh, but uh, at least we've still got them I'll walk around to the front and show you how well it's been presented Sinclair's Oyster Bar and the old Wellington as reinterpreted having been moved twice the medieval bit so finally we've only got to go to Cheatham School now we're at the back of Cheatham School adjacent to Victoria Station this building here is part of the school and is pre-Georgian so we would say that it's uh, anything from the 18th century back to the 14th uh, it is shown on maps uh, so in terms of medieval architecture it's valid but in terms of interpretation one would have expected everything to be very tightly and closely packed uh, but in these modern days we like the space and one of the reasons not much survives is due to the unbelievable fire hazard of all the timber construction but this has survived because it's hardwoods local stone the red stuff is bunter sandstone and we have some york stone roof tiles but nevertheless that's it the next bit to see is the confluence of the Irk and the Irwell there we have it the confluence of the River Irk, which is that one, complete with heaven and duck and seagull, underneath Victoria Station, and we pan round to see the River Irwell coming in from Salford. Uh, obviously, lots of engineering and difficult to date but that's it and we just pan around now and I'll come out from underneath this railing and pan around to Cheatham School and finish with the medieval cathedral in its latest transposition by mainly Georgians. Uh, that concludes the medieval bit. The, uh, the rest is a search for evidence. Uh, things like Ancoats Hall, Garrett Hall, Hume Hall, lots and lots of um, manor houses with moats shown on some of the old maps but it's all really gone because the uh, the Georgians uh, followed by the Victorians really took the city apart and turned it into Cottonopolis but we'll be looking next at the Georgian bit which is where uh, world heritage comes into its own <laughs>